you know, it is time for you to make a change, right? What do you mean, change? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to change. I'm happy. You need, you need to though. You know, it's the right tool for the job. Um, you know what? I think I'm happy with, with what I'm doing though. No, it doesn't. No, it's not going to fly. What is wrong? Why do I need to try boots? I'm happy with my skate shoes. Because skate, you it doesn't support your ankle if you're out in the field. Ankles, I should say. You do boots. have two of them. So if the boot fits. That's right. Why boots? I'm uh. There's nothing wrong with my skate shoes. I've been wearing skate shoes my whole life, people. And if you don't know what that is, it's like the nice wide tennis shoes. They feel good. They're boots. not farm shoes. They are not for the farm. Well, okay. Here, here's the scoop, folks. When you have a YouTube channel, sometimes companies will contact you and they'll be like, hey, you should try out our product. And most of the time we just ignore them because usually it's junk. Mm -hmm. Um, but once in a while, we'll be like, okay, wait, maybe we should check this out. Yeah. And so the boot company, Ariat, contacted us and said, hey, do you want to wear some of our boots and, and we'll make you a deal? And she's like coming unglued. Yes. And I'm like, what's the big deal? I don't well, want any boots. I've had a pair of Ariats and I absolutely love them. So... This would be the first pair of boots in my life that I've ever put on. We, we accepted their offer to send us boots, which praise God, thank you. Because honestly, I, there's no way I would go and, I mean, that's like buying three pairs of skate shoes. Yes, but these boots will last you 10 times longer than those skate shoes, any one pair of skate shoes. So you are about to witness I'm gonna try it. I've never tried, I've never had a boot, except a muck boot. Well, yeah, but that's not, that's not a boot. No, that just feels like work. Yeah. So, Ariat boots, if the boot fits. Here we go. I'm gonna need this for sure. Probably, probably, I'm gonna go with it for sure on that. I had to trim this up right now. Uh, well, so we've been lucky in that the weather has not been really bad and I haven't had to use the thing much at all. But the last time we used it, I accidentally kicked the pump on off switch. It's cold in here, 20 degrees. Um, breaking it. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta use a, a screwdriver to kind of cram it in there and, and, uh, and, and, Try it right, or else it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to repair this today. And this should be up Brad's alley, cause I do electricity. Electricity is my friend. Well, here is the culprit, and wouldn't you know it, I go to start unscrewing this guy, and it's, it's gonna be stubborn, it's stripped out. So I'll have to try to figure out a way to get underneath there without, uh, Messing too much up. Oh. All right, we are in business now. And I'm almost done, almost done. And look who shows up well, to yeah. finish the gig. Ah, come on. And take the glory from this field of battle. <laughs> no, we're a team, brother. Too. Okay, so I'm not gonna say who may or may not have um, gotten that, but I think I think we could say it was a team effort. It was definitely a team effort. So. So now we just gotta put this panel back on. Yeah, the panel goes back on. This is not too terribly hard, but. I can hold it. Wait, you're gonna need something essential. A pocket full of nuts. These are essential nuts. Are these squirrel nuts? The essential nuts. And some acorns. No. Just the nuts. Cashews, that's my favorite, cashews. When I got cut up, Thank but it's you. all done now. Uh. Okay, one, two, three, four, there we go. You know what's funny, hon? 
Um, as I'm just thinking about what we're doing, I'm holding I'm holding the uh, panel on there, and she's tightening it down. But uh, our mechanical prowess. Well, you gotta you gotta peek up here. This is this is worth it. Both of us agreed in unity that our mechanical prowess is so great that we didn't even know the difference between nuts and bolts. I know the difference between nuts and bolts. These are bolts. I just handed you a bunch of I bolts. Know, but we, we both, both said agreed they're, they're nuts. nuts. I, know. I know. The nuts are the little yeah. ones. Anyway. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> but, okay. They look cool on the picture. I will honestly give you that. But the idea of putting aside the old ways. No more skater shoes. I don't know. We'll see. Things upside down. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The big reveal. <laughs> Now that is surprisingly sharp. These things are huge. Well, you have big feet, Dad. Well, I do. You know, I do. Um, Try mine. I, I, um, these look really great, to be honest. Try them on. I, I guess that's the next uh, step. Let's try them on. Mm -hmm. This goes on the outside? Yes, not on the inside. You don't, you don't tuck them? No, don't tuck your pants. Hmm. Holy smokes. Look at that. It's quite the lift. Like this. Perfect. No, that's not. No, that's not. That's Yeehaw! Not how you wear your pants. This is how everyone. No, this is not how everyone wears pants. All right. Let's see. Can I give you a tip? Take one boot, pull it down. On, on, pull your pants down. <laughs> wow. I see. They feel really great. Ah, those are awesome. They honestly feel like really nice, like upper level, comfortable, everyday shoes. They don't feel like boots, but then again, I have nothing to, com to compare it to. So all I know is it feels really good. If I have to run outrun dinosaurs, though, this could be a problem. They don't feel like tennis shoe wear. There's, there's no dinosaurs. They just, feel really good, though. Cows. I gotta be honest, they feel really good. And they're supposedly waterproof, too, so. Well, and what else did you tell me about the sole? Oh, they feel, well, well first of all, you, you, you raise way up. No, the. Oh, these ones are the work boots, mm -hmm. but they're um, waterproof. It had the composite toe, so it's. It's strong like a steel toe, but it's not gonna like, if you if something crushed your foot, it's not gonna stay that way, so you can get your foot out. Um, but the other thing was um, anti-electrical properties. So it's like not conductive. So it, it's like a work boot in that if for heaven forbid, I had some kind of electrical thing hit my leg or touch my boot, it's not gonna electrocute me. Yay. I don't really want to try that one out. No, let's not experiment no. on that one. Okay, so with all of this talk of all of these germs and viruses and all the stuff that we're not actually allowed to talk about on here. YouTube will block it. Exactly. So we're just going to talk about it in the non-existent. How we deal with how we, illnesses. It's, and yes, it's how we deal with any kind of cold or anything. Things so, that might rhyme with irises. Right. Or so, old, old irises or acteria. Yes, okay. Uh, so we use, we make an elderberry tincture and actually we make a syrup as well. But this is, this, we're gonna make the tincture today. Uh, so we're gonna take one cup of elderberries. Also very carefully. And this is a specific the, kind, Yes, right? there's a specific kind of elderberry that you have to use and it's the Sumbuca Snigra. 
And for those of you who watch, whoa, is that spilling everywhere? It's gone crazy. I forgot my funnel. Bad, bad. Naughty, Krista. I gotta clean these up. Anyway, if you guys watch Zach over at an American Homestead, you know that he did a video on this yesterday or day before. He beat us to it. He beat us to it. And you know what, though? He's a smart guy, so. His Watch video his is video great, yes. and it's something that we do anyway. But we wanted to make sure we gave him credit. Exactly. So we're not we're not copying. This is just something that we do. So we're bros. Right. So we've got our one cup of elderberry, and of course, boom. Yes. Drunk. <laughs> we have our vodka, and no, we don't normally drink this stuff because it's is, not for consumption not like for that. Consumption. It's just to make the tincture. I wouldn't drink this stuff. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> just the smell of it makes me, bleh. anyway, so we're going to take our vodka, which is in a glass bottle. We're going to go ahead and pour this in here and fill it up to the quart line, just right up here. Yeah. And believe it or not, that's it. That's it. You let, let it me... sit for seven days. Whoa, splashy. Whoa. Yeah. You let this sit for seven days and then you strain off the uh, elderberries. And you're done. And you're done. This will last years in your cabinet. Um, it's been a while since we've made any, so um, now we're going to have another, another batch. So, Why don't you this, tell us a little bit about it, honey? Tell us a little bit about it, Vanna? Yeah. So, um, I've got my list so that I don't forget anything. This I'm is so really... I'm so glad you've got your notes. Yes, I know. He doesn't like it when I don't have I notes. like lists. So... This is great for treatments in just the regular common cold, the flu, flu Vir symptoms, viruses, sinusitis. Mm -hmm. it, is an, it is an immunostimulant, so it helps to boost your immune system. Also, it helps to treat mouth ulcers and tonsillitis. Which I didn't know until today, which I was, I wish I had had this when I was a kid because I got my tonsils taken out. Anyway, so this will last a long time. Dosage, okay, it's different for everybody. Time out, baby. We're not doctors. No, we're not doctors, but this actually I found on a, <coughs> excuse me, a prescription website all about elderberry syrups. But we're not, not making is, medical advice. This is just what we do for our family. You do your own research. Yes. For 12 and up adults, two droppers full um, or teaspoons, one teaspoon um, three times a day. Kids five to 12, it is up to you if you wanna give this tincture to your kids. I'm not telling you that that's this what you're supposed to do. This is not medical advice. This is just what we do. They get a half a teaspoon uh, three times a day. So uh, anybody under two, uh, we use the syrup. We do not do not give the tincture to because it's just not good for their undeveloped liver, livers. So this is our tincture, and I can't wait to see what it does. No, I know what it does. We've done it before. We just need to start taking it again. <laughs> you want to go for a ride? Uh, it's a one seater. Oh, we'll take turns. Okay, fine. All right, let's see if everything works. Mark, it's uh, your fuel. So good till you saw me. <laughs> no. Well, at least show them the music that you're playing. Sorry. Just hit, hit the space bar. So, she's gone from zero to understanding. Oh. Oh, 
the Foo Fighters. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I see those notes and rests and stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, that seems like a melody that I kind of know. You're doing a great job, Hope. All right, Mama, day three with your Ariat boots. What do you think? I love them. Absolutely love them. Yeah? Yep, I'm wearing them around in the house so that I can stretch them out a little bit before I'm out and about in public with them. Well, I, uh, I, I like the way they look. They're really nice. However, like now it's, it's a challenge because what are you gonna wear out in the barn? Not these. I'll wear my other boots, my mug boots. <laughs> so, Ariat for the win? Yes, love them. All right. Love them, love them. Cool. Okay. Three days of boots. Woo, almost fell over. Scuffed up a little bit because I've been out working. But um, I love them. <laughs> yep. uh, where have you been on my life, boots? At the store. Anyway, I really do like them. Uh, what can I say? They feel great. I feel like with my weak ankles, uh, it helps with stuff like that. So things that I normally would have twisted, I haven't. So win, Ariat rocks, love it. All right, folks, so um, with all this craziness going on with sicknesses and illnesses and things and threats and blah, 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 just do your best to get ready. Do your best to be prepared. If you, if you can put some food on the shelf, put some food on the shelf. If you can, if you can get some tinctures made, do that, you know, do what you can. Uh, Cause we don't know what's coming down the pike. Um, that and I will happily say, I like those boots and I cannot lie. <laughs> I absolutely love mine. I, yeah, I wear mine every day. So I, I won't go back to tennis shoes. I can't stand wearing tennis shoes now. <laughs> I didn't want to like them, but I like them. So anyway, there it is, Ariat. Mm -hmm. Links down below. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Anyway, <laughs> we're changing, we're transforming, we're like a pupa becoming the butterfly. No, not and a we're spreading not our... Time out. Not a pupa, a pupa. I thought it sounded cooler to say poopa. No, that's the stuff that's in the barn. Have I got stories for you? Oh, man. There's plenty of poopa floating around. No kidding. That's why we got the skid steer. Anyway, I'm Krista. <laughs> and I'm Brad. And you guys have an amazing and blessed day.